Sawadee Krab. It's the perfect date, April 25. I'm JP Nistanza, and this is Phuket Extra. Now here's the news you need to know. Rescue workers in Chalong tried all they could, but they were unable to save a woman's left leg after it was partially severed during an accident between a motorbike and a pickup truck. The crash happened in Chalong on Chafa West Road northbound at midday yesterday as rescue workers found the woman, identified only as Joy, on the ground with her left leg and meshed with the pickup's rear bumper. Hydraulic cutters were used to free her from the pickup truck so they could rush her to Bashida Phuket Hospital in Phuket Town, but it was too late and doctors had to amputate her leg. Police have learned that the woman was allegedly driving her motorbike at speed and was unable to avoid colliding with the pickup truck the driver of which said he's willing to help the woman with medical expenses. Police say they expect to press charges against the truck driver, however. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. The wife and daughter of the chief of an ethnic Hmong club in Chiang Rai are now dead, while the father and his son are now recovering at a local hospital. A brazen ambush attack that took place yesterday at about 5 p.m. happened as the family of four were on their way home in the truck and the attackers shot at the truck while on a curb of the road in a forested mountainous terrain. The five-year-old daughter and the 40-year-old wife were both killed in the ensuing shootout, while the three-year-old son and the 54-year-old Hmong club chief were gravely wounded. So far, authorities don't know the motive for the attack. An investigation is underway. The National Office of Buddhism is currently seeking legal action against five senior monks in connection with an alleged embezzlement scandal, but a movement is forming to defend the monks from, quote, malfeasance against them. Officials from the National Anti-Corruption Commission, with help from the Prime Minister's office, are lodging complaints against five senior monks, accusing them of siphoning over 70 million baht from a Buddhist development fund meant to go towards religious schools. But the group, who call themselves Buddhists, who are the power of the land, they say that authorities are, quote, damaging their good reputation and that of the Sangha organization that oversees Buddhism in Thailand, which is tantamount to malfeasance. The investigation into the five senior monks is part of a much wider probe into 10 temples that allegedly embezzled over 100 million Thai baht for the entire development fund. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back, so don't go anywhere. Get your grub and your groove on at the East Meets West Laguna Phuket Food and Music Festival, April 27th to 29th. Entry is free, concert tickets are available. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. With Terminal 3 building sitting unused since 2006 and Don Muang Airport in Bangkok experiencing cr overcrowding, officials at the airports of Thailand are proposing to renovate Terminal 3 to solve the problem. Officials are making the proposal after reports of Don Muang's Terminal 1, the international terminal, had a 14% jump in arrivals last year. Too much for the building to handle and now a five-year upgrade plan is in the works slated to begin in 2020. Officials want the new building to handle about 40 million passengers a year, but that would mean completely demolishing the unused Terminal 3 and building a new one on top of it, which, if approved, wouldn't open until at least 2020. A viral video showing a man dressed in plastic bags inside a 7-Eleven is making the rounds online, all to help call attention to the serious environmental problem plastic waste has on the planet. The video was uploaded to Facebook and shows a teacher from the Bangkok Christian International School wearing 600 plastic bags and walking around the convenience store in Bangkok. A report online cites one student who says that one person in Bangkok alone uses 600 plastic bags in a three-month period. The video has, as of right now, nearly 20,000 views and other online photos show them at several Bangkok landmarks to bring awareness to the massive environmental problem the plastic bags pose to the earth. That's it for Phuket Extra today. If you're watching us on YouTube or thepuketnews.com, stay up to date with these stories by clicking the links below in the description. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, manténgase con clase. Thailand's premier SSI Diamond Dive Center. Visit us in Geelong or on c-bees.com. Sea Bees Diving. Adventure in good hands.